This tutorial shows how to make your file processing more versatile and robust with Talon Open Studio. File Processing One job contains three components. There's an input Excel, an output SQL Server, and a TMAP that mediates between the two schemas. The input Excel is configured with a single file name, since context east.xlsx, and there's a hard-coded sheet name of 2010. This is the type of job that you might create if you're profiling your data absent of a more structured tool like Talent Open Profile. You're trying to get a look at what the data and the data types look like. A more robust solution is to drive the processing from a directory of files rather than from a single file. In this example, the processing starts with a T file list based on a context variable called datadir. And there's a file prefix suffix scheme that's going to sort out the contents in the datadir. And this is used in the case where datadir may be used by several different jobs uh, that aren't related. Or there may be files in datadir that you want to back up and you don't want to be processed by this job. Uh, for example, a timestamped file. These variables are context variables. So there are no hard-coded values that are put in this, in this job here. And you can see in the context definition, I've got a value put in for data dir as for file prefix and suffix. So rather than hard coding any of these strings in here, I've got a um, I've got them defined as context variables. The business context Excel no longer uses a hard coded sheet name. It's got a sheet name put in here, and this could be sheet one or it could be 2010 but it can change outside of the job. And it no longer gets a hard-coded file name, but rather it's getting its file name from the T file list. Otherwise, this job proceeds along as the file processing one job does, and Excel is run into a T map, which is loaded into a SQL server output. When you're working with the data files, I find it useful to follow up that loading job with a sub-job that will move the data files to a processor. And this is the same T file list configuration, data dir, file prefix and suffix. And its action is a file copy target where it's using this process dir variable. And process dir is a context variable like the others. And it is removing the source file. So during development, what I'll typically do is have a set of files that I'm moving back and forth between processed and, and the data dir. And this lets me capture and, and run on many different types of inputs at once. And so for development, uh, I find this to be a very big improvement because I can cover a lot of ground with a single push of a run button rather than trying to have to manipulate the file name to get it so that the job, uh, the job works or to adjust any time of type of runtime parameters.